in terms of laying out survey locations at a site. So I mentioned the fact that, that arthropods, they're kind of patchily distributed, so we need to do a fairly large number of surveys to actually get some signal out of all of that noise. Um, and <clears throat> so we want to distribute our surveys across you know, our site. And when we're doing a scientific study, um, we want there to be some kind of, we want to be getting a representative sense of arthropod abundance on a given day, which means we want to be using a somewhat systematic uh, method of choosing where we're going to survey things. Um, that is to say, we don't want to just, like, the, the extreme example would be to say, oh, there's an awesome bug. I'm going to survey this tree, right? Because if you always did that, then you were, your total estimate would be biased upwards that there are more bugs per square leaf, square inch of leaf than there really are. Um, and we want to kind of, in theory, kind of get sort of whatever representative vegetation you might have at your site. Um, now that said, there are logistical realities and constraints with respect to, you know, we can't just lay down a random grid of points and just expect that that's going to work out very, very nicely. So what we have is kind of a hybrid measure. And so um, I, I showed you that example in the slide before, just kind of distributing across your site, you know, maybe these circles. So, and I know you can't quite see this here, but just imagine, okay, here at the Botanical Garden, there's actually this, there's a trail that goes along here, and actually there's a creek right down here, we'll see it later, um, and the trail goes on back on the other side, and it comes back, it's like a three quarter mile loop or a half mile loop or something. So what we've chosen to do here at the Botanical, Gar Botanical Garden is just kind of distribute um, somewhat subjectively survey circles, that is sets of, cir a circle would be a set of five surveys, and we'll just say, okay, this would be, a, there's trees around here for starters, so there's something to survey. So we'll call this the center of one circle. And then we want to have some space in between the next one, maybe 25 yards or more. And then the next place where, okay, there's some trees, there's some stuff around here. We'll call this the, the center of the next circle, et cetera. So you might, depending on what kind of paths or you know where vegetation is, you might just kind of distribute a couple of survey circles subjectively based on what you have to work with. But then within a survey circle, this is where we want to be systematic, right? So what we've done is we've said, okay, well this is going to be the center point. This is our the circle we've chosen. We're going to now um, choose four additional survey locations um, within each circle in addition to that center one. And it's basically going to be, they're going to be ideally in just in the four cardinal directions around that, um, at least five meters away, okay? And we don't have to be get out the you know the tape measure and measure that out, right? But you know, so seven paces or something like that, right? For most people, and we don't have to be exact about the cardinal directions either. And again, you might be in a spot where maybe it's along a line of meadow and a bunch of woods, and there is nothing in this direction. That's fine. Um, but what we want to do is basically pick um, our additional survey trees to the extent possible, imagining this layout, and then we can adjust and adapt to reality as needed. So the, the idea is, okay, from right here, let's say I know that north is, I tried to look at a map last night, it's confusing here because we're on a, it's like this way, yeah. ish, yeah, yeah. 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 right, it, okay, so, <clears throat> Um, what you'd want to do is just say, okay, from here, I'm just going to walk five meters in this direction. Once I've gotten five meters, now I'm looking for whatever foliage is within, I don't know, say two meters on either side of me, the closest, and so maybe I would end up at this tree here. And so, okay, so that would be one, and then just do the same thing, walking in each, in each direction at right angles from this line, from the center point, okay? So this circle will consist of these five 